crafty friends it's Jess from JessCrafts.com and today I'm here with a card for the coffee lovers blog hop you can find the link at coffeelovingcardmakers.com but I'll be sure to leave it in the video description as there's a lot of great sponsors and all you have to do is make a spring themed coffee card or other hot beverage type card and so I was inspired by some spring colors today and I wanted to show you a fun technique that where you can do um, some coloring outside of your images rather than coloring all your images in because sometimes it can be time consuming to color a bunch of images. So I have these coffee cups, the to-go coffee cups from the Newton Loves Coffee stamp set. This stamp set includes some really adorable images of Newton from Newton's Nook Designs with coffee but I wanted to actually just focus in on the coffee cup today as I know a lot of people in the hop will have different coffee cup images to use and it kind of show you a different way to use them. And what I'm doing is on each of these rectangle panels, which are cut with the Lawn Fawn Stitch Rectangle dies, I'm stamping three random coffee cups. Over to the side, I have three coffee cup masks where I cut out the coffee cup, but I left a little bit of a border around it because I am wanting to make them stand out a little bit from their inking, plus it would be really hard to line them up perfectly. And so to save myself the hassle of trying to line them up perfectly, I'm giving myself a little bit of wiggle room. I stamp them in VersaFine ink because I find that it gives a really crisp black image. However, I do want to make sure that I dry that VersaFine ink before attaching the masks because VersaFine ink is a pigment ink and it will stay wet and sticky for a little bit of time it makes it great for heat embossing, however, it can pull up the stamping with your mask. And so if it pulls up some of the ink and then I go to use the mask on another one of the panels, I might transfer the ink. So just make sure that they're dry in between. Once I have the masks down, I'm ready for my inking. I'm just going to pick two colors of Distress Ink that I think kind of say spring and work well together. In this case, I'm choosing Wilted Violet and Cracked Pistachio. You could try this with a lot of dye inks too if you don't have the Distress Inks because you're really just trying to add a pretty solid color there in the background. I'm not using the water reactive properties of Distress or anything like that. I'm just trying to add some bold color behind all of these coffee cups. And I find this would probably be a little bit less time consuming than if I were to cut out all these individual coffee cups and layer them on colored cardstock. So. You know, you could do it that way if you didn't have inks you felt comfortable inking with. You could just cut out a bunch of white coffee cups and layer them on. But I like this effect and I think that most people probably have those inks to get the different colors. You could also just color around the coffee cups with markers and leave that space white for a similar look. Once I have three rectangular panels, I'm going to... Or sorry, four rectangular panels. Usually I do things with like that rule of odds or thirds in mind where you tend, things tend to look good in groups of three. But in this particular case, I actually like the group of four. And I think what kind of brings it back a little bit to that is there's going to be one singular panel that has the sentiment and the other ones are going to be plain. So they kind of group together a little bit more. And for some added interest, I'm going to stagger the panels down the center of my cart. You could line them all up for a slightly more like organized look, but I thought this added just a touch of interest. Do think about the way that the coffee cups line up with each other too, because you don't want them to look they're kind of where like they're almost lined up but not quite. You want them to appear randomized. So you can turn your panels around and make them, you know, line up in the way that you find most pleasing. And I'm working here on a piece of grid paper and that helps me a little bit to make sure that everything is in line just because I'm kind of seeing those constant parallel lines behind it. But you could use a ruler to really make sure those panels were lined up. And then I have this sentiment from Mint Owl Studios Coffee Craze stamp set that I simply white heat embossed on some black cardstock and cut a little banner. And that's it for my card today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are interested in more crafting and card making tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And I will leave you links to the Coffee Lovers blog hop and the stamp sets that I used in the video description below, as well as some social media links. Thanks for watching. Bye.